Hello foxes, hedgehogs and squirrels. We hope you've had a lovely time making your family trees last week. This week, your project is going to be to design, create and evaluate a rocket. Now, the reason for this is, in the story of Whatever Next, Baby Bear's rocket gets broken on the way back because it rains, so he needs a new rocket. So on Monday, we would like you to go onto YouTube and watch the story of Whatever Next when Baby Bear flies to the moon. Now, when Baby Bear comes back, his rocket is broken and your job is going to be to make a nice new one for him. So what you need to do on Monday is have a think about what you'd like your rocket or spaceship to look like. Will it be a small one? Just big enough, maybe this size. Will it be one the same size as you? It could be a giant one, you never know. You decide what you'd like your rocket or spaceship to look like. I've got a picture here of some rockets. This little girl decided to make one as big as her. Or maybe you'll make some small ones like the children have sitting at the tables. You decide what you'd like yours to look like and draw it. When you've drawn it, can you label it? For example, if you've given it a pointy nose cone, maybe you could draw a line to it and write pointy cone. Maybe if it's got windows, you could write wet round windows or square windows, depending upon the shape. If it's got wings, you could draw a line to the wings saying wings, red wings, blue wings, little wings, pointy wings. You decide how you're going to label your picture. Remember to include some adjectives if you can. Now, when you've finished, you need to have a think about all the things you're going to need to make your model. Because on Tuesday, you're going to make a list of everything you need. So on Tuesday, you will get your piece of paper like I have. And you will think about what you need and make your list. Now on my one, I've written at the top, I need, and then I've written a plastic bottle and draw my bottle. Card, because I might need card to make the wings. Scissors, because I will need the scissors for cutting. Sellotape to stick it together. Plastic, maybe some cling film to cover it. Pens, in case I want to draw windows. And possibly some paint, in case I decide to paint my model. Okay, now when you've made your beautiful list, keep it safely because you're going to need that for when you collect up all your items to make your model. Okay, so you could collect all your items up today on Tuesday or you could leave it until the next day. Now, on Wednesday and Thursday, you have two days to make your model. You can take your time, collect all your items, and if you're making your model, you may decide to change it. So, this is your opportunity to. Create your model in any way you like. Make sure it's strong. First of all, make sure it's big enough that you can fit the bear inside. Make sure it's strong and make sure it's waterproof because on Friday you're going to test your rocket or spaceship for these three things. You need to make sure that these things are in place before you've finished. As you're making your rocket, Test it, do little tests on it to make sure it's safe enough. So on Friday, when you do the big test and you can take some photos of it, we will see if it worked. OK, now on Friday is the day when everything's dry and your rockets all stuck together that you're going to test it. You're going to see if it's big enough to fit the bear in. There's a question on the Internet on the website page and it says, is your rocket big enough? you need to write your answer in your homework book. So you will have to see if you can fit a toy inside your rocket. If you could, you can say, yes, my rocket was big enough for my toy, or no, my rocket was too small for my toy, or my rocket was too small for my bear. Then you're going to get your rocket, you're going to pick it up, and you're going to throw it across the garden or across your room in your house and see if it was strong enough but when it landed on the ground, pretending that your baby bear in the rocket. When you've tested it, you're then going to write in your homework book whether it was strong enough. So if your rocket landed and it didn't break, you can put my rocket was strong because I used lots of glue. My rocket was strong because I used a strong bottle. If your rocket broke, then you could write my rocket broke because it was made of paper, okay? And then the last thing to test is if it was waterproof. 
So if your rocket is sitting on the floor, you need to get a cup of water or just a little bit of water and tip it on your rocket. Now, if your rocket stays stuck together, then you know it's waterproof and the water didn't get inside, it's fine. If when you poured the water on, your rocket got water inside and it began to break, then it's not waterproof. So then you have to write your sentence saying if it was waterproof or it wasn't. So if I poured water on mine, I would say, I tested my rocket, the water didn't go in. So I would write, my rocket is waterproof because I use plastic or my rocket is waterproof because the water did not go inside. OK, now, whilst you're testing your rocket, see if you can get someone to take some photos and any pictures you've taken throughout the week of you making your rocket. We'd love to see them on Seesaw. So myself, Miss Matthews and Mrs Jones will be looking forward to seeing what you've been up to this week. So have a lovely time and we look forward to seeing your pictures.